Yo, what's good, YouTube? It is your boy Flyer69 coming to you guys today with episode 5 of the Chicago Blackhawks franchise mode series. And this is a massive episode. This is the NHL draft. And this will, but this is going to be the most important video so far. I said this last video, but this one's going to be even more important because we're going to make, I, we're going to move up in this draft. More than likely, if a team is willing to trade within the top 10, we're going to trade up and try and get in the top 10, top 15. Because we have a our eyes set on a couple of guys that we want if we can trade up that high. We want, and it's, we have our eyes on Maxim Mirinov and Igor Petrov. Igor Petrov, the offensive defenseman who has elite shooting puck skill sense and skating he's going to be a beast offensively as a defenseman and not too bad defensively but his defensive stats could get a little better but he's going to be a beast so is maxim Mirinov. a literally a's everything a plus a plus a a plus a minus a we want guys like them and his player style was similar to patrick kane's we want guys just like them to build around with this team and continue to build throughout this franchise mode. And if we somehow can't get a move up for either one of these two players that we really want, another player we're going to keep an eye out on would be Brad Lambeer, Joakim Kemmel. These are both very good players we're going to keep our eye on. Honestly, Elias Samuelson, Leiker Maki, but at this point, I wouldn't see it. We would move up and get someone like Marco Casper instead, instead of moving up that high because Casper does seem to look a little better than Cutter Gauthier. About the same as Geeky, but I think I'd rather have Casper. Uh, Lecker Maki does look to be pretty good, but at that point, we'd only move up a slight bit, not as big as I'm trying to go with there. And David Spacek, he's another one I'm keeping my eye on. He's going to be a very nice player. There's a lot of good players in this draft, so we really can't go wrong with whatever direction we go down. Gauthier is a high elite. But yeah, he's basically a high elite. Uh, Saprikin, he's the top six forward high. Keep an eye out on him. Chance, but his stats aren't that great, but we can develop them, so it's not that big of a deal. Obviously, Maverick Lemurier. Lemurier? I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but his player comparison in similar style is the Dano Char. He's big, so that could work. Yeah, so there's a lot of potential possibilities that we're going to do. And a lot of trade scenarios can happen. And Nashville, we're not going to trade up for the first pick. Because, one, that's going to be too much assets. Plus, why would Nashville want to trade it? I don't know. So we're not going to jump up that high. But we could potentially trade up to 10. Okay, because Montreal wants to move back. They want to trade the pick. Okay, that's a possibility there. All right. Let's start sending some of these picks. First pick goes to Shane Wright, 76. Damn, okay. Second goes to Jarek, to the Devils. 75 overall, okay. Third overall will be Sapkowski, to 71. What? Okay, this guy that made this roster is a little delusional. Alright, that makes a little more sense. Logan Cooley, 69 overall to the Islanders, but their potential so high. Nemix, a 63. Holy shit. Marinoff's an 84. <laughs> That's EA created right there. It's not that guy, but my god, Columbus got a beauty. We're not going to get the defenseman we want. Uh, is it going to be even worth trying to trade up at that point? Uh, would they even be willing to try and trade it? I mean, we can try. We'll package a 27th, the 31st, get up a second, a third. And another third, I think we can, oh, if they don't take that, bro. That's a haul right there, rejected. All right, we'll add in that other third round pick. We already have, oh my God, we have so many third round picks. We can just trade them, reject it. They do not want to trade the pick. I'm not giving up three of them. Okay, so Montreal, I think we could probably get a good trade out of, but who's going to be there? A pick number 10 that's even worthy of trading up. Petrov's probably not going to be there. I guess Savoy. I guess, but would it be worth even moving up at that point? Because we can just move up the 20 and get Marco Casper. So it's like, hmm, well, not 20, but a little higher up and get Casper. So, I mean, Korchinski's not bad either. He's also a good player, but his D 
defense is D. I don't know about that. Connor Geeky. Laker Maki. I don't know. Alright. Let's see. <laughs> She's. I mean, the guy that made this roster really did some of these guys dirty. I mean, really dirty. Uh, we'll give up. Alright. Second round pick right there. We'll get rid of the 86 and the 91. And the Minnesota second. All right. Ah, they're getting a hole here, Stevie Y. You're getting a hole here. You better take the. Oh my God. Really? <laughs> okay. You don't want. I am baffled that you don't want that. I guess I could trade Jake McCabe at that point, but Borgstrom actually has high value. Henrik Borgstrom actually has high value. Hold on now. We could throw in Borgstrom. Take out maybe one of these picks. We can take someone that has kind of a high cap space for them. Okay, we might be able to flee some here. Uh, we'll take Adam Earn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll throw in a third. Or, no, we'll just do this for right now. Alright, they will drag it, but we'll throw in a third. And we'll see. Alright, I'll throw in the 79th third overall pick. Reject it. Alright, they're not gonna, yeah. We're not gonna be able to trade up with Detroit. I would probably have to package another third, and I'm not doing that. I'm not trading three thirds just to move up. He's 80 overall. I mean, I don't see a point now to move up to 10. Because I've always gone. And who's even left? You got what? Lambeer, I don't know if I would move up for him. Nas, uh, not Nas. <laughs> Joakim Kemmel, I was looking at the similar playing style. <laughs> uh, I mean, Kemmel's a good player, but is he worth moving up that high for and giving up that many assets when we could probably move up mid-teens to get someone like Marco Casper, who's going to be good in a couple of years. And we want him to give up as much. I think we're better off just trading up right around with Montreal. I mean, Montreal has another pick we can trade with, so I mean, that makes sense. All right, this is Samuelson to the Blues. How are some of these guys higher overall than some of the guys that are up near drafted high? Like, they're near Subkowski's overall. He should be higher than that. And that does not make sense to me. Right, we'll give up the 27th, uh, 48th, the 49th, and the third, and another third. See if that will do the job here. And they took it. All right. So that way, I think, how many first did we give up? So we're at 16. If I'm correct, we're at 31 and 32. So that way, we still have three first round picks. So I think that worked out better. And we can get the guy that I really want right now. And that is Marco Casper, Jonathan Leckermaki. And honestly, it's definitely looking like I'm going to go the route of yeah, we're going to go and get Marco Casper. Even though Korchinski does have some good stats. And they took him in real life. A minus, A minus, B minus, B. But his his D defense is a little worrying. That's my biggest complaint. That is a little worrying. That he has a D on defense. And he's a defenseman. He's not a winger. He's supposed to be a defenseman. And he's supposedly not that good at defense. I'm not so sure about that. But let's get a beast in Marco Casper. Stevie Y likes him too. I like that pick a lot. Get a good young player. All right, let's look at Krachinski's defensive stats. Let's see if they're really that bad. Uh, I mean, not really. I mean, they're not great, but it could definitely be worse. Look at Casper's stats. They're not, I mean, they're okay. The offensive awareness is a little low, but, you know, he'll develop. I think he'll be a nice player. So, either way, I think we would have got a good pick. Ah, uh, man, Arizona's got so many picks. Jeez. Lecker Maki goes to Arizona. Connor Geeky to Columbus. You got Cutter Gauthier to Arizona. Owen Pickering to Arizona. All right, let's just send our pick. I'm, okay. And Nathan Gauthier here we could take. We also got Saprikin. Uh, a plus, B minus, B, C minus, B minus. We also have Rainer Hulse, who we are going to take here with one of our picks here in a second. We're going to take him. That's almost a guarantee. We could also trade down because we have so many picks like right near each other right now. Maybe we can 
get a haul from next year. That would be pretty smart. Also, assess the trade block could be a good thing. Uh, but should we take Goche? I don't. I'm not so sure if we should take Goche. I know we're probably gonna take Saprikin and Holst no matter what. But if we get rid of one of these picks now, that could lead into. It depends. What what can we get out of trading one of our picks here? What would it? Uh, if we want to trade the Dallas pick, we get a second and a fourth, two seconds, one next year. I follow. Do not want I follow. I don't want JVR. Don't want Brett Burns. <laughs> I can tell you that now. All right. So it's like you get a couple seconds. We get another second for next year in the 58th overall. Um, Arizona, we get the 35th and a fourth next year. Personally, that's not enough for me to really want to move. How about if I wanted to trade the 32nd overall? It really shouldn't make much of a difference, but we never know. It's about the same trades, right? Alright. Yeah, they're all the same. Okay. Uh <laughs> what if, let me let me see something here. What if we package both of them together? What could we get? I'm I'm not going to more than likely trade both of them, but what would it look like? Kevin Hayes, no thank you. Can't. Flyers, man, jeez. Yeah, that's not worth it. I mean, Hurdle would be maybe, but that's not worth it. All right, let's just use these picks. Let's just build up on good young prospects. But what prospects? I know two of them at least that I want. <laughs> just what? what's the third one going to be? Uh, we want these two. I know for sure. Anyone else down here that I know that I want? Uh, Gauthier. Dimitriev is a medium elite. Um. Oof. Uh, I think it would probably be smart to take Nathan Goche here. We're going to take him. Top six forward high. Oof. Okay. Well, we'll take Saprikin. Yeah, we'll take him here. And send the R pick. Hopefully, Hulse is still there. He is. And we'll take Hulse. Yes, 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 yes. Good, 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 good. All right. We got the defenseman I wanted. And what overall was a freak or whatever the hell he said. 72 overall, top six forward. There we go, medium. Nice, 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 nice. He has, ooh, he has a good shot. Oh, let's go. He's, he's going to be a nice one. He's going to be a nice player. I'll, that was a great pick. Great pick right there. All right. Uh, when's, what's our next pick? It is 86. Yeah, we did trade a couple of our second round picks to get and move up Marco Casper. Um... All right, third round pick, pick 22. Who do we want here? Um, any of the good goalies? Pierce is here. I remember scouting him. Yeah, top 4D. I do remember scouting him. I did like seeing his stuff. He might be the top. He might be my guy here. Or Grayson. Grayson's not too bad. Uh, he we could maybe take him in a little bit. Goaltender. All right, all all the good goaltenders are gone. We're just gonna take. Yeah, this is what I get for not. <laughs> scouting good enough um we'll take pierce here we'll take pierce because the one we know he's a top four d man low it's a good pickup all right looks like probably the smart pick there we're actually up next wong was at 65 and um, we'll probably rock with maybe grayson yeah we'll take grayson here bang 62 overall top six forward low Okay, not too bad. Uh, a fourth and a sixth. No, that's that's not worth it. Um, the Austrian. We're gonna take the Swede, Hugo. We're gonna take the Swede. Why not? Bottom six. Bad pick. And this is the sixth round because we traded. I guess we don't have a fourth or a fifth. Uh, we're gonna take him. I don't know. We'll take Victor. Okay, it was a sim that in a draft. Sim entire draft. Yeah, that's the draft. We had a good one. I I was hoping that we could trade up higher than that, but we really couldn't. So hands were kind of tied. I really want to move up higher. So no like big game breaker prospect we took this draft, but we got good quality prospects that are going to make the roster and going to help us be very good and successful long term in the future. Alright, so now that we are done with the draft 
and everything. Now it's time to go into the re-sign phase and really see the UFAs and RFAs we have that we're going to maybe potentially want to re-sign or just let go. Uh, Calvin DeHaan wants to stay 2.675 for two years. We'll, we'll re-sign him. Why not? Uh, Kurashev, we're going to bring back 2. Point, oh, that's a good deal. I'm going to take that. Yep, I like that deal. Uh, anything else here? Caleb Jones, I mean, probably going to let go to be honest. He wasn't anything noteworthy. Yeah, we're just going to let go. We'll release him. Colin Nuck, however the hell he say his name, he can stay. Uh, Lucas Reichel, he's already re-signed. Most of these players already re-signed. Alright, that's a good thing. Um, we'll re-sign him, why not? Morrison. Yep, Spreakin, he can stay in Russia for a year. Well, we won't sign him yet. Holes, we're not going to sign yet. A lot of these guys we're not going to sign yet. Because we just let them develop in their own leagues that they play in DEL or whatever. And then we'll bring them up. Marco Casper, yeah, we're not gonna we're gonna let him play in what is it? The SHL? If I'm correct. Pretty sure it's the SHL. Yeah, the SHL. Let him play there for another year and we'll probably sign him then, potentially. I would say so. Uh we'll sign Crudel, why not? Sign. Alright, no one else down here I'm signing. Goaltending. We're gonna let him go because I want uh where's Kameso? We should have Drew Camesso. Where the hell is he? I know I didn't cut him. Huh. Interesting. He's not here. But we're still going to let him go anyway. But I... S what? Is he a free agent or some shit? I know I didn't trade him. I don't know why he's not there. I swore I saw him at one point. So, alright. Phil Kirsch have resigned. Calvin DeHaan does not want to stay. All right, then bye bye. No big deal. Okay, Morris and Kale Morris. Holy last name. I can't say that. Wyatt Kalanuk, he wants to stay. He resigned. Lipinov resigned. Who we got in the Dallas trade. Edge to sell. He resigned. Krutol resigned. All right, so we, there wasn't really much for us to do here. So, I mean, DeHaan doesn't want to stay, nor do I really want to. I don't care if he stays or not. Not like he was like. A great, he wasn't bad, but wasn't necessarily great. I'll give him this is the most like him 2.9 mil. If not, he can kick rocks. Bye bye. See ya, buddy. What overall is Pull Yarvi? Did I see that 84? That a baby Pull Yarvi. We got him on a steal of a contract when I offered him it. So, so that was a big dub by us. Duncan keeps contracts up next year. That's a good thing. Um, Lafferty, yeah, no one else that. Noteworthy, I should worry about giving a contract, which is good. I won't give him a contract yet, man. We'll give him that. Uh, gold tank, we're gonna cut Delia. Delia, bye bye. So Wolf can get a lot of reps in the AHL this year, get a little more further development. All right, Dahan, you're gone. Yeah, you want to leave? Okay, I'll let you leave. A uh, coaching staff, should we fire a coach? I don't know. I don't know if we should yet because. I know he doesn't fit the team right now. We're not going to get any better. But yet again, we're not trying to be much better this upcoming next season because we're still tanking. We're still rebuilding. We kind of want Bedard, but yet again, we're not... Who am I? Who am I kidding? We're trying to get Bedard. We're getting hard for Bedard. Simple as that. We want Connor Bedard or Mativi Machikov. We want one of those top two prospects on our roster. Simple as that. We're going to keep the coach, even though he doesn't fit the team. He'll be gone after next season. We're, we're just going to keep him. I mean, like I said, we're trying to tank. We want either one of the top two con the player prospects. They're going to stay. Now, in free agency, we're not going to really do much. Goudreau, I assume, then re-signed with the Flames, unlike in real life. Interesting. Ilya Makia, he wants about the same contract that he got in real life. Claude Giroux, Phil Kessel. Phil Kessel I could potentially bring in because I love Phil. I love Phil Castle. That would be potentially be a player I would look to bring in. Manjapani's a UFA, really. Wow, okay. What players are all... Valerie Nechuskin's way too low of an overall. Uh, Jack Campbell wants 11 mil. Oh, he wants 11 mil. Tough luck, buddy. Nah, I, <laughs> I wouldn't be giving you that. You kidding me? 
Oh, I ain't giving you that. I'll tell you that. And plus, I'm not going for any of the top big name free agents. I just want young players that are cheap, who have good potential, young, and we can bring in and do something with them. And maybe have them be a part of the rebuild. That's what I'm looking for. Young, good players that could be a part of the rebuild. Maybe like Evgeny Shvechnikov. He has pretty good stats. He could potentially fit on this team pretty well. Why not? Let's give him a contract. How did he do last year in the NHL? He had 16 points in 50 games. Was it 50 or 58 games? 58 games. We'll give him a shot. 1.3 mil for two years. Why not? We got nothing to lose. Uh, Centers. Let's look at centers. Any good young centers here? Yeah, Nicholas... Yeah, but he's an RFA, and, uh, stats, and he's young. <laughs> Morgan Geeky's here, Nick Cousins, Brassard, Trennan, Bemstrom. He's a free agent. Okay, UFA. So is Mason Appleton. Uh, he has actually pretty good stats. I think he would probably be a nice player to pick up, potentially. If I were to play with him, yeah, but I don't know about in the sim, but he wouldn't be a terrible player, potentially, to pick up. Oh, you, uh, Mason Appleton. We also got to look at some of the young prospects I want to bring up this year before I go and sign more young players. Gabe Bellardi, if he was, I was say, if he's a UFA, I'm pouncing on that fast. Here's a good way to find out who's all available, has good potential and young. Do it like this. Sam Steele available? All right, we're, we want Sam Steele. Even if he's like a f fourth liner, playmaker... He had 13 points in 66 games. We could use a player like him. Uh, let's see if anyone else is here. That's noteworthy. No, not really. Um, all right. I mean, we can go for Sam Steele. We could always put him in the AHL. It wouldn't really hurt. We'll probably sign a veteran. I don't know who, though. But let's just make sure. Let's look at the young prospects we have that are in the pool who could potentially make the leap up this season. Reichel, he's going to play this year. Vlasic was already playing. Goche, obviously, is going to have room to develop. All of our top value players are all players that are going, that we just drafted. Uh, Raphael Lavoie, would, I think he still needs a little bit of development. I don't think I'm going to use him right yet. Uh, Ent Whistle, he was already playing. Radish, Test Girl, uh, Center. Let's just go down Center overalls. But yeah, Reichel's going to play. We do need wingers. We definitely need wingers. I'll tell you that. Um, defensively, there's a couple of good young prospects that we'll probably start using this upcoming season. So instead of signing a defensive free agent, we might as well just go out there and just use some of our young defensemen that we got there. Let them develop a little bit. Uh, left wing. I think we already offered, yeah, Shevchenkov. Uh, we'll probably bring in a veteran. Maybe... Yeah, probably a veteran. Uh, no one too crazy. Like, I, I was thinking Phil Kessel, but I don't know. Um, Michael Raffle wouldn't be too terrible of a pickup. He's a veteran that could, you know, not too over the board signing, but he's a good... What's the word I'm looking for? Good... Growing blank here. Good bridge piece, I guess. Bridge piece, you could say, even though he's not that good. Flyer legend. But, mm, he still wouldn't be a bad player. Tyler Mott, eh. Lekanen, if he didn't want so much, I would probably bring him in. Andres F. In CU. We could go for him. He wants a couple. We're just going to go for Raffle. He's a cheap option. We'll give him a two year deal for a million. Why not? Uh, Goaltending wise, any good young goaltenders here? Good potential or anything? That we can just swoop up? No? Okay, that's fine. Uh, what else? Do we. Let's look at the trade block. I'm curious. Is there. Who's all in the trading block? That's definitely a good thing to look. Probably look at. Uh, I haven't seen anything noteworthy besides Zari, but I'm not going to go for him. I don't want Cockney Emmy. Eight years on a 4.8 deal. Oh, yep. No shot. No, 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 no. No way. Uh, Boone Jenner, Gustav Nyquist, Sean Curley. No. Um, who's all here? I really, uh, there's really no one here that's grabbed my attention. Like, I really want to bring them in. They're not like, no one. Uh, Nashville, McDonough, and 
TS Alcom, no thank you. The Islanders, no, no. Ottawa, no. Philly, they want to. Tr they're trying to blow it up. They want to trade Hayes, Atkinson, Coots, JVR, Ellis. No, I don't want any of them. No, no, no. I mean, I would love to bring in Hurdle, but no, nah, ain't gonna happen. We're not trying to win first off, so it would make zero sense for us to even try to trade him because we have to give up so many assets. It would make literally zero sense if we even tried for him. Uh, medium elite goalie in Tampa. They have another one? Jeez. Them and their goalie prospects. He's just going to be sitting behind Bazzi the entire time, but we're not going to go for him because he's going to demand a, a lot. Connor Sheary, but Vegas with Daniel Chaka. I mean, we could try go for him. He wasn't one of the trade offers that we were looking at. Forget for what player. I'm not too sure. Right? There's no one, no one there that would say I want to go after and under the trade block. And is there anyone I want to put on the trade block? Uh, we'll put throw up Jake McCabe. I'm not too sure we want to really trade him, but it wouldn't be too bad. Throw up McCabe. Borgstrom has a good value, but he's not too bad, so we can. I'm okay with keeping him. Uh, with throwing Taze, and Taze can definitely get a good trade now, I think. What can we get out of Jonathan Taze now? Alright, no one wants him. Okay, but his value is there, but no one wants the contract, understandably. So, uh, Borgstrom, Jake, what, what can McCabe. A couple seconds, okay. We get a couple second round picks. Connor Sheary, second and a fourth, third, a second and a fourth next season. 24, 24, second and fourth. Cock in the enemy, a third and a fourth. Uh, a second next season and a fourth with Edmonton and Florida. Ooh, that might be the best trade I might take there. It's the one I like the most. Pittsburgh giving us a second and a third next year. Ooh, Pittsburgh. Okay. Okay, Pittsburgh. I think he's going to Pittsburgh. Yep, he's going to go to Pittsburgh. Jake McCabe, you're a Pittsburgh Penguin. All right. Yet again, like I said, we're blowing this team up. All right. We're good. I like I like what we've done. Sam Steele signs here. Again, the Shveknikov and Michael Raffle. Actually, I'll sign one veteran defenseman. Just one. We'll sign one veteran defenseman who, and again, they gotta be cheap. Zdeno Chara? Why not? Bring in Zdeno Chara. Give him two mil for one year. Played in Boston. Played with the Islanders. Let's bring him into Chicago since he wants to keep playing. I mean, I want a veteran. Never said they had to be good. We could have brought in PK Subban. Shit. Probably should have. Oh well. Too late. Well, not too late. I can always sign him now, but nah. Let's. I want. I want Zdeno Chara. He's 45 years old. I want that old bastard. Damn right. Uh, I think we got all the guys I offered. If I'm correct. Yeah, we got. I think we got Shvechnikov. Pretty sure we got all the guys I wanted. Uh, we'll take Zach Sanford because eh, he's a grinder. Do we want him? We want Hosang. I want Josh Hosang. Let me sign him real quick. He doesn't have to play this year, but I want him. Welcome to Chicago. Alright, I'm good with all my signings. That's all I want to do. Nothing too major. Good young couple players that, that could be a plug and play or a bottom six. Maybe they can somehow develop and become really good players. And how the hell are that many people buying that many tickets 94 percent 94 and a half 94 yeah basically almost around 94 95 percent of tickets being sold in those levels how we're blowing it up there is no reason to come and watch these games you guys are loyal jeez there's no reason to come watch chicago blackhawks games absolutely zero reason i i wouldn't if this team was this bad shabeknikov went up to an 82 oh my lord i want Tay's first line oh okay maybe not uh, why does this roster not look too bad? <laughs> I mean, some of the overalls, I guess people got better, I guess. Yeah, HL, I want Reichel up in the AHL, H, NHL, jeez. Lavoy actually, he could play in the NHL now. Ooh. We might bring him up. Uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna do some roster moves. I want 
Reichel in the NHL. I want. Uh, we'll bring in Lavoie, and we'll drop down one defenseman, and that should be good. And actually, I want Hosang down in the AHL, and we'll bring up someone else. Actually, Hosang, yeah. Uh, bring him down. And we'll bring up. How many defensemen do we got in the NHL? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7's enough. We'll bring up a forward. Why not? Um, Lafferty. We'll bring up Sean Lafferty. Bang. All right. There we go. Like that. Uh, let's mess with these lines. Shabeknikov first line. That's a little crazy. Um, let's go head coach preferred lines. We'll mess with this. Reichel first line. I like that. Even though it should be Taze up there, honestly. But he can't really get... Well, he can do this. Potentially. He can do... Shveknikov over here. You can then... Do... Reichel is not really... What? Yeah, he's not that good of a center. So, actually, you can move him here on the first line. Have him pair up with Taze and Pugliarvi. Shveknikov... Tyler Johnson, Kurashev, Borg, or do that, and bring up Lavoie, because I want him to play a little bit up there. Um, Yeah, I leave this line as is. Good young line. Maybe have them develop. Radish, Johnson, Lavoie, Raffia, Raffle, Hosang, Sam Steele, Entwistle. Yeah, it's a young team. Very young team. Uh, where's Chara? I don't want him on that bottom line. <laughs> old old bastard line right there damn right uh now nah, we'll do duncan keith connor murphy the dano chara alex vlasic uh bowden and ian mitchell and stillman all right i like that and goaltending how who's over lankman's an 80 all right so goaltending we got worse actually in the power play lines reichel pulley rv taze well do that shveknikov lavoy tyler johnson all right, well, it's not too bad. Uh, yeah, we'll rock with that. Um, captains, it's probably going to send me to AHL. No, all right. Again, the Shveknikov should not be an assistant. It should really go to Duncan Keith and Jesse Pugliari. Damn right. All right, that should be good there. And let's look at the draft class because this is going to be key. This is the year that we need to focus on the draft class. And why is Matevi Machikov not in this draft class? This guy did not put in Matevi Machikov into this draft. Wow. Wow. Okay. They're still good players, but I mean, how do you not put it? If I knew in advance that this roster was not that good, I wouldn't have used it. Tough scenes, but it is what it is. <laughs> we just got to rock with it. It's tough, but... I maybe the guy who made this your doofus. I'm, I don't remember what your gamer tag or anything was, but your doofus. Simple as that. Uh, anything else? No, because I'll just do the scouting on video. Raffles getting a second round pick. No, I won't trade him yet. I'm not doing any trades right now. We're just gonna send the regular season. And we're gonna call it a video. Uh, who are we gonna play first? Because we're gonna watch that game. I actually am curious to see how this team would play. Uh. Players on waivers, okay. We play the Devils' first game of the year in New Jersey. I just want to see if anyone's overalls just kind of dropped off. Pull Yarvi still high. Tazes went back up. Borgs from 81, 82. Lavoy went down there 78. All right, all their overalls are actually kind of high. Team don't overall wise, the team does not look that bad. Should I have probably made some of these moves? No, because maybe somehow in the sim we're good. Nah, I probably won't be. But, you know. Lankin went up to an 82. Okay, so there is potential. We're not maybe as bad as I expect us to be. There is potential for that. But we'll find out and see what happens. So, like, the thing, guys, for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one.